Welcome to another episode of what bundles to get to get new cards the fastest. So again, the idea of this video is not to get cool variants or to get cool avatars and titles and whatnot. The idea is what bundles have the best worth for you to further your collection the fastest through which you will get more cards the fastest. So if you're not pool 3 complete or pool 4 or 5 complete, if you don't have all the cards basically, this video is yours because I will show you and tell you which bundles to get if you want to spend money. Right. Um, you don't have to, again, in Marvel Snap there's no need to spend money on the game, but the the money can help you to, to advance faster if you want to do this. So we start with October 3 to November 7. This is still Magic's birthday party. As you can tell, it started a month ago. It's still happening. This is still great value. 2 and 2 percent. Actually, I need to make this bigger. Okay, I'm very sorry. That's maybe a little bit too big. Um, this is still 2 and 2 percent progress. And this is the magic number, right? If you want to look this up yourself, it's on marvelsnapzone.com, right? And then 202%, like the progress. This is what tells you with this, you get enough gold credits or tokens to advance your collection level the most. So Magic's Birthday Party is still great. Also, this variant is just awesome, right? I mean, uh, I said we didn't want to talk about variants, but this is just, just still very powerful. I like after that, um, the token Tuesdays in most cases are just even. That's a weird thing to me. You can mostly skip them. Um, you will have to look these up, but let's go over the bundles. This starts already October 26, Halloween, of course. You can skip this. It's 3,200 gold, and it's just a little bit better, like 1% better than if you just buy credits with gold and collect and advance your collection like that. So that's a, a hard pass. I'm not going to get this. I know people like the, the zombie squirrel, especially because this avatar, I mean, is great. But that's how of that, <clears throat> a big, big hard pass in my eyes. One to get for sure is the Clever Girl, right? I mean, this is also great, of course, but it's 20 bucks if you want to spend 20 bucks on the game. Again, you don't have to, but if you want to do it, 183% progress. Because for 20 bucks, you get 1,000 collector's tokens. Oh, God, I clicked. My bad. 1,000 collector's tokens, 1,000 credits, and 350 gold. That's a good resource value. Um, you just need this two more times, like 3k tokens, and you can um, buy a... Actually, not true. With 1,000 tokens, you can roll a random Series 3 card in the shop, token shop. So that's already doing that. 1,000 credits, you can increase your level. You get the idea. Very good bundle. You should get that. This one really bad. I don't know what, what happened here. 66%. Uh, you're just better off spending gold on actually just buying credits. That's just better. So, so screw that. <laughs> the mystery variants. These are generally good because you get... 1250 credits for 10 bucks that is good no other fancy stuff so this is only on credit value right you can get this wolf in cheap's clothing another one really good also starts on october 31 31st rather uh, also starting very early actually a lot of bundles coming up and something something doubled kind of weird this is almost 200 percent progress it is, however, 30 bucks, and this is mostly focused on tokens. So if you want to buy a Series 4 or 5 card with tokens, then this is your bundle, right? The credit value is not much. It is really if you if you want to progress your collection level just with credits and upgrading cards, and through that get new Series 3 drops from your collector's reserves, this is not the bundle. This is mostly for collector's tokens, right? Another token Tuesday, which is just even, so you can skip this mostly. Uh, the mystery variant again. This one is really good. Also, it's twenty bucks again, but you have fifteen hundred credits, thousand gold. Pretty good. You can get that if you want. Booster packs, as always, they suck. I don't know why they exist at all because it's just bad. Um, unless you don't have boosters, but they're random, so you'd rather play conquest and get your boosters from there, right? This mystery is just. I might just skip on that. To be honest, it's just one hundred twenty percent. It's not really that great. But now we get into it. Finally, November seventh. Seventh. To 14th. Peach, you're so cool. Here's something to, to say though. Right, you get this variant. I'm personally not a big fan of Peach variants. For some reason, people are, go all crazy over these. I don't like them too much, but whatever. It's just taste. That's 65 bucks. It has 204% progress, right? So it's great value for the money. But do you really want to spend 65 bucks on a digital card game that is just lost, right? You can never get this money back. There is no way to trade your cards or anything, so it's just lost, right? So really gotta ask yourself if you want to do that. It has 6k tokens, so you can buy one ultimate variant right away or one series 5 and 4 card right away. 
but it is mostly focused on the tokens. So you're really gonna ask yourself if this is what you want. If you don't have She-Hulk, you can get this bundle. Then you have to ask yourself, is paying 65 bucks for one card really <laughs> worth it? Uh, I'm probably skip that. I don't have She-Hulk, but still I am like just skipping that. This one is again good on value, right? Black Widow Peach. I mean, this looks kind of cool, but I'm still kind of mad. Half a world away. Um, this also goes for an entire month, which is very interesting. 10 bucks, but you get 750 credits and 800 gold. That is a lot. As you can tell, 203% value. That's pretty good. So, um, yeah, great bundle. And then we get another Peach, right? That pool, Peach Momoko variant. This I likely gonna skip. Because it's just a little bit over 100%. I don't like this too much. It's okay, but Deadpool has cooler variants, I think. Maybe you think differently. That's all fine. But 1,000 tokens, 3k credits you, for 3,500 gold. You can just buy the credits. Um, I would skip that, personally, unless you really want a Deadpool variant. Then we have this. This is another very great one, right? The Species Flurican, Fred Adorable. Goose. And Nick Fury variant. But the important part is the 6,000 credits for the 35 bucks. Now this is again a lot of money if you want to spend this on the game, but again, two hundred and almost two hundred percent progress. And I feel like the bundles are getting better as well. I feel like, except for the booster ones, but they tend to have a good. They're getting better with the economy, right? They tend to have a good progress level on their bundles. After all, they want you to spend money on the game, so I can understand why they would go down that route. You can get this, especially if you don't have goose yet. This is six thousand gold. I mean, it's 5k collector's tokens and 2k credits. It's again good value, and you get this Dracula variant, which is actually pretty cool, I like that. But yeah, 5k tokens. So again, mostly focused on getting a Series 4 or 5 card, or you can get 5 Series 3 cards randomly. So this is not bad, but it's 6k, to 6K gold, right? So you gotta ask yourself if you have that, or want to spend that. Then we have Thanksgiving coming around. This is just good. It's not crazy. But basically you pay 20 bucks for 1500 gold. You might as well just buy the gold like that. It's a bit cheaper because we also get the, the tokens, but still, um, I mean, you, you get these variants, which are cool, I guess. If only Punisher would be a better card. It's okay, but not crazy in my eyes. That's how I see it. I mean, you, you have to judge this for yourself, but it's definitely good on value because with the gold you can buy credits, which then increases your collection level again. So this is basically the idea. Now this one, <laughs> I think this is not correct. Personally, I think this was data mine and it's just not correct yet because that's two bucks for a thousand credits. Like this is 600% progress value. Um, I doubt this will be like that <laughs> because that's just too good. Maybe, maybe they went crazy for a second. Who knows? But I don't think so. Then we have the Festival of Lights. This is great. I'm definitely going to get this one because this variant is just awesome. And it has great progress. Look at this, 234% for just five bucks, you get this variant, 750 credits, 200 gold. That's just awesome. Great value. Absolutely get this one. Very powerful, also great avatar. Then we have second dinner. Um, this is, this can be skipped because that's 2K gold for 3K credits. And the Seisman variant, which I guess is funny, but the progress is just a little bit over just buying credits with, with gold, right? So don't fall more into this unless you really want that. And then we have the last one before we go into December. Then, although this also goes into December, as you can tell, this is the Kylan Q. Q? Q? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, Artist Showcase. I might skip on that because that's 6,500 6, gold, which is roughly, I think, $75. Or even more than that. I mean, it's 9k credits, which is, of course, great. And these variants are cool, no doubt. Um, but yeah, that's just a lot of money. <laughs> so you gotta ask yourself if you really want to spend that kind of money on the game. All right, that was it for the bundles. And there are, as you could tell, a lot of them are really great. They're really doing a good job this time to put some real value into actually spending actual money on the game. Definitely getting better with that. Um, so it comes down to you asking yourself how much money you want to spend on the game. So, so you don't get broke or go broke just with, with that. Or if you even need it. But these, as you could tell, there were a bunch of very good ones to get great value from it. And increase your collection level so you get more cards faster. If you have any more questions, if you think I talked shit on some of these unnecessarily, or if you disagree with some of them, let me know in the comments, absolutely. Now, if you have any more questions. And I will see you on stream, of course. And up here, somewhere, I don't even know where, there, you can actually find out how to find me.
twitch.tv slash alex underscore grace. And I'll see you in the next video.